It was a day for legends at Cogra Jubilee Oval, with the late, great Reg Gasnier fondly remembered prior to kick-off. And Danny Badiris taking the reins of Newcastle as coach for the first time, following the midweek axing of Rick Stone. The former Premiership winning hooker quickly discovered how tough his new gig can be when Cade Snowden came up with this fumble in the opening set, which St George Illawarra seized upon in the possession that followed. He'll give a chance for Nightingale, he's there. Dragons have got it, not Nightingale. It came down for Dugan. Badiris could not have had a worse start to his coaching career with the Dragons carving Newcastle up through the middle six minutes later. Has got it through for Thompson. Thompson pulled on. Off Mimo now. There's a scramble. Ryan may have won the race. Mitch Ryan. Snowden's afternoon took another turn when he was clobbered by Lisa R. Mao, who looked set to spend several weeks on the sideline after understandably being put on report. However, the picture was starting to look brighter for the Knights as they began to build some pressure. Play is Roberts on to Jeremy Smith. Well done, the Knights. With plenty of ball to play with, Newcastle looked like a very different outfit. Clydesdale dummy. Clydesdale has had another go. He's got over it, second attempt. They're going to allow it. They say he wasn't held. They've allowed him to clamber over the top. I guess like what Spider-Man would do. A long intercept run by Carlos Tulmavave left the Dragons struggling to recover as Newcastle made a brilliant transition from defence to attack. They have to keep it coming right side. Scott knows it. Now he gives it to Gagai. Gagai to Momo. Too much speed. Jake Momo puts the Knights in front. And there is a real touch of superhero about their comeback. Mamo's try was followed by a very special moment for the Knights' other winger. He's offloaded, it's tipped on, they could score, they will score, Ross Lightner, boo! There's a flash of white lightning in the corner. Nathan Ross, 26 years of age, scores on his Knights to boo. You reckon he's just a little bit happy? Gareth Widdop threw a penalty goal over on half-time to put the Dragons within a converted try. And he was just the man to erase that deficit when play resumed. Widdop straightens up, he's up. Gareth Widdop scores for St George Illawarra. He was turned sideways, he's still able to get there. After adding the extras, another Widdop penalty puts St George Illawarra back in front. And with our Mao trying everything he could to atone for his earlier sins, the home side was on a roll once more. With a bow for Zell! For Zell! A throw for St George in the Our Mao's charge was ferocious! Frizzell's was unstoppable! Down by eight, the Novocastrians were tangled in their own web and needed to find their own superhero. Randall's gone through! Chumavame can't stay with him! Tyler Randall! Where did that come from? Where did that come from from Tyler Randall? Jake Maymo missed an extremely difficult opportunity to tie the game up once more before the Dragons produced a passage of play that wouldn't be found in any coaching manual. It's gone back 20 metres. Marshall's got it. Still the last tackle. He dummies. Marshall passes to Winner. Winner to Rain. Rain for the corner. The Hail Mary. Marshall has got it down. Dragons forward Will Matthews came up with a rare try just over 10 minutes out from full time, which wasn't pretty but very effective. And so too was this piece of martial magic. Beautiful pass. Dugan no score. Oh, Dugan almost trips over the dead ball line. But you've got some star players in this broken side. That blistering finish by St George Illawarra ended their seven-game losing streak and puts them back in the top eight with five games to go. David Rollins, NRL.